Hi, I'm Barry Williams. I've been a Networking Academy instructor since 1997 and presently serve as the educational chair of the Skills USA Internetworking Contest. You know, historically, businesses have had to rely on least dedicated circuits, T1, ISDN, OC3, and others to interconnect their offices. These least circuits provided a reliable, private, secure method to share business communications. But they also have limitations. Leased circuits can be expensive and often rise in cost as the distance between offices increase. Also, workers were required to go to an office or to a branch office to access the business network resources. This video will give you an overview of the Virtual Private Network, or VPN. VPNs have become the logical solution for remote access, providing secure communications with access rights tailored to an individual user, enhancing productivity by extending the business and corporate networks and the applications they increase flexibility and they also reduce the cost of communications. Anytime, any place network access gives employees great flexibility regarding when and where they perform their job functions. Using the VPN technology, employees can essentially take their office wherever they go, thus improving response times and enabling flexible work schedules. Let me offer you an analogy that maybe will help you visualize how a VPN is different from other network access. We all live in communities where the products we consume are delivered by many types of transport systems. So representing the internet and the interconnectivity of our homes and our businesses, let those be the roads and the highways upon which we travel. Representing the IP packets, that travel on the roads are transport trucks. And these transport trucks carry data from one location to another. As you stand by the side of the road and watch these trucks go by, you're going to notice that some of these trucks are carrying their contents out in the open so that you can see what the truck is hauling. And you will also see other trucks that have enclosed trailers that protect their contents or hide their contents from the observers along the road. So where does the VPN fit into this analogy? The trucks that have open trailers are non-VPN carriers, and the trucks that have closed trailers are VPN carriers. A VPN truck provides a dependable and a fast means to keep us separated from other traffic and provide a secure means of transport. A VPN truck is easy to access, is capable of picking up its packages in public locations like hotels and airports, as well as from our individual homes. We have the ability to grow our network in multiple ways. One of these methods is to add more leased lines. This method can be an expensive solution. By scaling our network with VPN technology, we can better utilize our existing data services and provide connectivity from more locations. In fact, scalability is the major advantage that VPNs have over leased lines. Virtual private networks rely on tunneling to create the private network that reaches across the internet. Essentially, tunneling is the process of placing an entire packet within another packet and sending it over the network. The protocol of the outer packet is understood by the network on both points. These points are called tunnel interfaces, and this is where the packets enter and exit the network. Tunneling requires three different protocols. The carrier protocol, the protocol used by the network that the information is traveling over. And then there's the encapsulating protocol, the protocol SSL, IPsec, or others, that is wrapped around the original data. And then the passenger protocol, the original data. Now this can be IPX, NetBuoy, or IPE as we normally see.
Tunneling has important implications for VPNs. You can put a packet that uses a private, non-routable IP address inside a packet that uses a globally unique IP address to extend your private network over the internet. You can also place a packet that uses a protocol that is not supported on the internet, such as NetBuoy. And you can place that inside an IP packet and send it safely over the internet. As you can see, VPNs play an important role in scaling your network.